Hey guys, today's video is about how to watch the ball and keep your head still. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome to today's episode. Today's episode is all about watching the ball and keeping your head still. Those are two concepts that people have tried to figure out for a long time and many people don't understand how to do it properly. So, watching the ball. I hear a lot of coaches tell you that you should watch the ball. Here's what watching the ball would look like. I would watch the ball come in, hit it, and then I watch the ball as it leaves my racket. And we all know when we watch Roger Federer hit balls, he doesn't do that. He comes in here, he watches the ball, but he keeps his head totally still throughout the stroke. So. Watching the ball is only half the battle. We want to watch the ball at our contact point, but after contact, we do not want to watch the ball. We want to keep our heads still, but that is so hard to do. So many people struggle with how to keep their heads still and how to stay down. And so I want to show you a technique I learned from a friend of mine down in Portland named Noah Newman. He's a over 40 player, 5'5 five, five level player, and when I watched him play, he did a really good job of keeping his head down, and I asked him how he did it. And the technique that he uses is that he brings that ball into contact, but after the ball's gone, he keeps his head down on the ground and he picks out a spot on the ground. There's always gonna be something to look at. There's a little fuzz ball here, a little circle here, anything. And I wanna be able to fixate my eyes on that spot so that I have something concrete to look at on the ground after the ball is gone. Same thing on the backhand side. As I track that ball off my, ra my opponent's racket, I'm gonna watch it into my contact point here, and then after I hit, I'm keeping my head right there. My head is staying completely still. One more. I track that ball in. Boom, I keep my head still. So how do you practice it? A great way to practice that ball and how to keep your head still on that ball is by putting a target up. So Jordan and I are gonna be rallying. I'm gonna take a target here and just set it in the center of the court right here, halfway between the service line and the baseline. And we're just gonna rally back and forth and I'm gonna see how well I can do that. How many times I actually pick out a spot there versus looking up and trying to see where the ball lands. And what I've found when I do this drill is when I am able to keep my head still and through the swing, keep my eyes on that little target on the ground, that my ball is getting much closer to the target on the other side of the court. So we're gonna do the drill now and I'll just show you how it works. All right, Jordan and I have each put a cone up right here in this center line, halfway between the service line and the baseline. We're gonna start rallying and you can see if I'm actually keeping my head down and looking at a spot on the ground when the ball is gone. If not, I'm sure sometimes I won't, sometimes I will, but we'll just see and after that ball's gone, that was perfect. After that ball's gone, I still have time to look up and to see where the ball goes. I look up, that was straight. If I miss that ball to the left like that, I know that I was too far out in front, probably because I didn't stay down on that one and I looked up and I hit it early. So it can really help with your contact point too. Right there, pretty good. Keeping that head down, that was good. Oh, really late on that one. I didn't see anything on that one. Here we go. Pretty good. Oh, that was a tough shot. Down. You can see there's a camera right on the cone, so you'll be able to see this ball coming right at the cone. Hopefully close to it. Oh. Down for the slice down. That was a good one. Right into my contact point. Down. Down. Oop, Jordan got it again. He's on fire. All right, so once you're finished with that down the center rallying and finding the contact point and figuring out when you're early or late, you can take that cone and put it in a corner and go cross court. So you can go cross court forehands here. I can put the cone over here on the ad side and go cross court backhands. But the main thing we wanna think about is that we're keeping our head still, we're watching a spot on the ground and we're training ourselves to not look up to see where the ball goes. And we're also figuring out when we miss, why we miss. Are we late? Are we early? It's really important when you're rallying and drilling to have a cone out there so you have a target. 
as you get into matches, it's a lot tougher to remember this. You're always gonna wanna look up more in a match because, because you feel like you don't have time, but you really do have time. And if you learn how to stay with it and you train yourself to stay with it and to stay down throughout the swing, you're gonna be much better in your matches and your consistency is gonna go way up. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. I'd love to see you guys get out there and practice this drill. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to this channel. And we'll be back again next week with more cool drills and techniques for you.